everybody. It is Angie at Treasured Vintage and Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. And we are here to uh Angie at Treasured Vintage oh, no. and are you Tanya, Thrifty <laughs> Treasures. I thought I had that meeting. And I'm we so are sorry. here to uh It's okay. <laughs> you know, I was so nervous. And I thought this is gonna be this is gonna be fine. I got this all down, and I was like over my notes and everything. And then, and then I did the the thing that I hate doing. It's okay, <laughs> said, yeah. it's a good icebreaker. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's let's just move past it. Uh, anyway, we're 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 doing this different kind of show today. It's about trending jewelry for fall and winter, and. Uh, and we just thought it'd be fun to um, check out some styles that are coming up. And I made a lot of notes. And uh, and then we thought we'd pull out stuff that we have in our um, inventory and show you what might apply. So there's all kinds of things coming up. Um, we're going to kind of take turns and show you different things. Um, I actually went to a Harper's Bazaar site and a Vogue site. And uh, what sites did you go to, um, Tanya? I want to say Ill and uh, Glowsly.com. I got some good information. So a lot of the fashion magazines, like, you know, uh, Harper's Bazaar, or is it just Bazaar? I can't remember. But, um, and like Vogue. They have an ill. They all have their different uh, trends for the fall and the winter. And it seems like they're all kind of, you know, the same, only they like word it different and stuff. Exactly. So um, I'm going to start with uh, the big Zodiac um, dangle earrings, which I don't have any of, but that was the first thing on one of the lists. It was there. Yes, I saw that. They were by Givenchy. Vinci and then Tori Birch she is doing something like this right here she's doing layered pendants I and love that this this was actually kind of I got it as close to the picture in the magazine or in the um, website as I could mm -hmm. so she kind of had hearts I think hearts are gonna be a, a big thing because I've seen them I've seen big puffed ones and I've yeah. seen ones that dangle from a, a chain on your wrist. And uh, I don't know, have you seen hearts in what you've been looking at, Tanya? Yes, I did. That I definitely did on that uh, Glow, Glow, Glow Sly website. I saw something about the hearts um, are going to be in for fall for sure. That's good because I've got a lot of hearts. Do you? Yeah, I love the hearts. <laughs> Do you? Um, I don't know. I'm not real enamored with hearts for some reason, but I guess... I guess now's the time to get them out and uh, right. work, work with them, get them listed. Definitely. So then in the uh, Dior is doing, um, they're doing, and I, I, I do have, uh, or I did actually sell lately, a lot of these layered, multi-layered chain necklaces. And this is exactly the look that they are, they are predicting. So, now, you know, is that vintage? That, sorry, tell me. Is that vintage? Oh, this one is, yes. Um, something in the middle here, like a, you know, it doesn't have to be a locket, but some kind of a pendant in the middle, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then this is all connected. You know, this is all, this is all one necklace, but I'm sure you could do, you know, you could make your own thing if, with different um, lengths of, of chains, uh -huh. you know. So how many it's, strands is that? Like four strands? Yeah, it's it's four strands. Wow! With this and that is nice. I love that look. This is the um. That's how it connects all up in the back with the four strands. Very nice. Fold over clasp. Now I got these earrings recently. This is another trend that's gonna gonna be um for this year. And I, when I got these earrings, I thought, what in the world? How, what? And, and what, 
you know, one's longer than the other. And, and I looked at them. I thought, well, this one's broke, right? And, and I looked and it's finished off on the bottom. <laughs> and so that, that told me that, no, this one is not broke, but you know, this one is longer. Right. So this is a trend. This is, this is something that is trending, uh, asymmetrical earrings. So <laughs> one longer than another or mismatched earrings. Yes. Which, which is what I'm wearing today. I have a little hoop. And I have a little, um, I think it's a dolphin with a little stone, but it's as, it's as big as I could go. Right. <laughs> and the other trend is uh, go big or go home. Yes, everything's going to be bigger for the fall, oversized. You want to take over, Tanya, with some of your big stuff? Um, I can. Okay, so um, one of the websites that I was looking at said uh, mega size jewelry, the bigger the better. And so, and also like the chunky, uh, chunky chain links and stuff like that. So I had, I have this one. It's super duper chunky that I wanted to show you guys. And it's got these clear little beads on it too. And it's really, really chunky, but it's fun, right? <laughs> um, let's see. So another thing that um, is going to be trending are the leaves. Like I know everybody, if you've ever got a jewelry jar or, uh, when a jewelry lot, you've probably seen these little leaf brooches like this. So these are making a comeback, you guys, and they're going to be popular for the fall. I've got a ton of those. Right. And also, uh, like, here's a little leaf necklace. This is more of a modern piece. This one's mine. But, um, yeah, it says that they're, like, bohemian and gypsy approved. And uh, I guess because it's just something that's natural. So um, let me see what I want to write down about that. Yeah, they are Bohemian, the Gypsy approved. Uh, yes. So tell your tell your brooch story. Oh, okay, let me tell the brooch story. Okay, so <laughs> brooch, 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 brooch. <laughs> yeah, I say brooch, but I spell it brooch. But anyway, um, yeah. So I was at the doctor's office the other day, and one of the doctors came in, and on her uh, white little, you know, the uh, coat that the doctors wear, the white one. She had a silver and um, blinged with some rhinestones little dragon. It was a brooch on her uh, jacket. And so we started talking about that. And then I went to the bakery and I saw a lady and she had um, on her apron, it was lined with brooches, vintage brooches. Um, so I have an example and I wanted to show you guys my apron. So here it is. And this is like where she had them, like right here on the collar, if you will. What is this called, Angie, the top part of it? A strap? strap. I don't know. <laughs> so, and it just really caught my eye, maybe because I just love jewelry, but it's a great conversation starter, right? I think that's <laughs> great. It's a good conversation starter to me. I mean, I, I always notice everybody's jewelry. I know, me too. I can't help it. You think it's, a, it's just a woman thing, or do you think it's... A a jewelry thing. Probably both. A little bit of both, yeah. <laughs> I think so. But um to me the brooches never really go out of style. I mean, I feel like the kind of brooch that you wear might change or whatever, but they're so much fun and they're so versatile. You can wear them in so many different ways. Like I have one on my sweater today. Um this one here in my hair, it looks like a brooch, but it's actually like a clip, but you can wear the brooches in your hair too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty. Blingy bling. Yes. Um, and then I have Madeline's jacket. Oh. Uh, on the blue denim jacket. I thought it'd be cute. Like here's a little butterfly. And here's a little uh vintage fox. Little That's girl. adorable. And now like before she wasn't crazy about wearing this denim jacket, but now that I've blinged it out, she's like, oh, I want to wear that. <laughs> really? Yes. I'm glad she likes jewelry. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. So, um, yeah, the brooches, to me, they just never go out of style. They're awesome. I love, they might be one of my favorite pieces. Yeah, I I have so many. And let me get it. Let's see, how do I? There we go. Um, I have so many brooches, and I have 
neglected listing them. I've, I've kind of been on a necklace kick. So I've, you know, <laughs> I've been selling a lot of necklaces and listing a lot. So I really yeah. need to start diversifying um, and selling and listing different uh, items. That's um, the great thing about being a reseller though, right? You know, you can list whatever you're in the mood to. If you feel like yeah. earrings, do earrings and. Exactly. Yeah. So Perla says she collects vintage brooches and she puts them on a lampshade. That's a great idea. Oh, yeah. And I have a lampshade here with mine on there too. So. Oh, and um, Wendy says that bolo ties also seen in fashion week. I know you ladies find bolos in, in jars. Yeah. I, I have a bolo tie, I think to list. Yeah. I've got a couple. I think it's got a road runner on it. It's kind of a, a, a Western theme, I think. Roadrunners were big like in the 60s, weren't they? Because I have, I, that's so funny that you say that because I just recently took a picture of two little Roadrunner brooches that I need to list. Oh, okay. They probably, yeah, 60s, 70s maybe. I don't know. Uh, Chris says they were popular in the 90s maybe too. I'm not sure. Oh. I know I've sold some uh, not too long ago. I mean, maybe last year. I'm not sure. And yeah. don't forget, brides have bouquets made of vintage flower brooches, Debbie said. That's yeah. a good idea. I now, know Carla does that too. Yes. Hey, Carla. Carla's here, by the way. Carla. And Carla says she has an eagle bolo tie. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, do you, have you sold many of your enamel, um, flower brooches lately. I haven't listed any of mine lately. So. I know because I'm hoarding them. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I haven't decided if I want to keep them or sell them. They're just so yeah. sweet. I know. They're, they're really, they're just so different and so 70s and so flower power like, and uh, they're a neat thing to collect. Mm -hmm. But um, I know that I've seen like a lot of them you know, in a lot, go for, go for a good money. So you go for good money in a lot. Uh, yeah. Search the uh, sold completed on eBay. You guys will see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And I think there are probably people like doing what Carla does and making like the um, bridal bouquets and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And they look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I would have known that that existed when I got married, I would have definitely jumped on that somehow or other. Yeah gotten that done um and you can take a plain purse and and, and put someone too said so debbie says um, oh yeah dawn's here hi dawn good you made it glad you made it <laughs> um so let's let's go on the list again and we have what chanel is calling head jewelry what but what tanya and i decided to call hat jewelry <laughs> <laughs> so, because uh, head jewelry it just didn't sound sound right. I don't know why. Right. But, um, so they kind of showed on one of the um, websites a hat. It was black and it had a big rhinestone pin up here. So I thought I would use this hat and put my big uh, Ultima Edison pin from Italy up here. And uh, it's a really nice pin that I have in my shop right now. It's perfect for a hat. I think it's going to be perfect for one of those uh, trends for fall. So, and she's also blinging out her asymmetric, <laughs> asymmetric uh, right. earrings here. She, she's got, um, she's got her long dangle, and then her kind of a demure. Uh, quarter earring here. <laughs> so she's looking all ready for fall, and um, that's also a good trend. So, um, and then we have double wrap neck chains and the chunky ones. Um, so I don't know if I have any chunky ones. I'm sure I do. Um, but they were showing links that were like about this big, weren't they, Tanya? Big links. Yeah, big that's chunky, really big. Big chunky links. Yes, the 80s are definitely making a return for fall. So any of your 80s jewelry um, that you want to, that you have and want to list, 
get that going. Um, that is good news for me because I have tons of 80s jewelry. I love 80s jewelry and I just have lots of it. So I am happy about that. Just okay. like these earrings here. So cool. And I know where I got these from. I got these from Carla when I won an auction of hers. Pretty sure these were Carla's when I won an auction of hers uh, on the MSP, I think it was. And these nice. will get listed for sure. I already took pictures of them. And uh, you know, something like these. These will get listed. I've got pictures of them already. And uh, so, yeah, fun. And fun stuff. Hi, Cindy, uh, Rosen. Nice to see you. Um, the other things, do you want to cover bangles? Did you see the chunky bangles um, coming back? Do you have anything? Yeah, I was going to uh, screen share. I saw that they said the cuff bracelets, like statement cuff bracelets. So let me screen share uh, a picture that I found. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, can you guys see it? Oh, wow. Look at that middle one. I know, right? What is that? Is that like a zebra? I don't know what that is. Looks like a, a safari animal or something. And I love the rose one. I love the flower one. Mm -hmm. So I pretty. Mean, that's not too aut ostentatious that you could wear that. It's not, you know, I would wear that. But I, you know, the, the middle one's awesome. Now the other one is like, you know, I love the green, but it's like, it, I don't know. It's fancy. <laughs> it's like for a fancy night out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's so matchy matchy on that green. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fan of that. I'd, I'd like some more contrast there, but. Right. So really, I mean, again, with the big stuff, right, the oversized stuff and, uh, Let's see. Also, I was going to show, um, oh, wait, like your rings. Like, I know I'm always showing my B ring, but um, I love my little B ring. It's like a statement ring. <laughs> All I'm seeing uh, right now, I was, oh, here we go. There we go. I see you now. Oh, I see okay. your B ring now. <laughs> yes, I love that. And then this one, I love this one. This one's kind of like a statement ring. I always wear that one. It's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, it's it makes your fingers look longer. Any any elongated ring will make your fingers look longer, which is nice. Hi, yeah. hi, bum crack. Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do we have here? I have some more screenshots to share. Oh, great, 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 great. All right, all right, let me pull them up. You go. Let's see. And I would have got more. I just didn't know if it was okay that we were showing. I guess as long as we're giving the people credit, it's okay to show their stuff. And we oh. did at the beginning of the show. So, mm -hmm. okay. So here's an example, you guys, of, oh, well, we already talked about that. But of the big chunky jewelry, like oversized stuff. Let's see. Are you still just seeing my window there? I am seeing uh, like your file page with a screenshot icon on it. Mm. Let me try something different. Um, okay, I got it. Here it is. Look oh. at that big oversized stuff. <laughs> I think that was the that one is, Vogue, uh, the Vogue um, site. And now the. Yes, very, do you want me to go? I was gonna, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, the other one of the other trends, as you can see on the uh, first picture there with the red things, uh, is a use of uh, everyday objects like. Um, this one, I think they said was like uh, bottle caps or something. Uh, this oh, how red, um, these red round uh, caps. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess people that are crafty might want to get into something like that. But um, 
And this is really chunky, that second one. Very chunky. Yeah. Um, let me come over here and show you another one. Um, this one I'm about to show you is another example of wearing like the scatter pins in your hair. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I love the idea of wearing pins in your hair. Mm -hmm, me too. Talk about double duty, right? Mm -hmm. And then let's see. I thought this was this one was really interesting. Uh, I can't believe I have this many windows open. Hang on. <laughs> uh, this is a good example of how you can also use scatter pins to dress up. Like if you're um, a career woman and you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, you can actually use the little pins as uh, you know, like uh, cufflinks, if you will. That's neat. I would have never thought of that. It's a good way to dress up, you know, just a plain little uh, blouse or mm -hmm. long sleeve shirt. Yeah. You know, if you're really an, an imaginative, creative person, there's just no end to how you can wear jewelry. Really. Exactly. Yes. And then just one more I wanted to show. Let's see. Every time I screen share a different window, I have to stop and. Uh, what the right one hang on okay i'm almost at it y'all here it is okay so you don't have to wear just one brooch you can wear a whole bunch of brooches okay. can see the same maybe not <laughs> i don't know that's but know. some people might enjoy like around Christmas time making a different like a little collage of like a Christmas tree and a Santa. And there might be like okay, there might be like one, two, three, four, maybe four or too many. I'm not sure. Maybe four too many there. <laughs> I think I might rock the one, two, three, four, five, six. I might rock the six or a seven. It should be an odd number, I think. But yeah. maybe not all of those. But because it's getting dangerously close to down there on right on top of her yeah. <laughs> area. <laughs> oh. But again, with the brooches, I just love them. I do too. Um, they look so so cool on other people. I, I need to branch out and wear some on myself. Yeah. I'm so. like, when I wear jackets this winter, I'm totally gonna be wearing them, you know, like on my sweaters and on my yeah. jacket so. yeah i am going to too i'm i'm going to be i have the jewelry so i'm going to be and my hats too right i've got a ton of hats uh especially for the winter like the beanie caps you could even wear your beanie like that and still even have a real pretty one here on the side or even i like that idea of wearing um jewelry on your hats but i'm not a hat person unfortunately i don't look real good in hats so. you live in pennsylvania you need to be a hat person because it gets cold there right <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I like I like to look cute in hat in the hats, and I don't. I don't. I look, I look this big face. I don't have a like little angular face that looks cute in hats. But so, what do we have next? Signature hoop earrings. Oh, it's all about the um, the designer's signature, like Fendi or um, like an. I remember. Um, Princess Casserole had those Anne Klein earrings that had AK in them. Mm -hmm. You know, those, those would be uh, good. And uh, like anything, monogram? I'm sorry. Is that called monogram? Yeah. Yeah. Or signature, signature yeah. earrings, whatever. Um, but yeah, so they're um, whatever uh, they're, you know, logo is logo yeah. jewelry. Is I read that about uh, Gucci's extra large pendant hoop earrings too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. And uh, let's see what else. Victoria Beckham has a pretty. You, you don't have that to screen share, do you? Her her um. No, I don't think you do. But she has a pretty uh raw stone long pendant necklace and. It's, it's not like this, but I just,
picked this out because it's the closest thing to some stone that I could find. Like I just, I just went just a couple minutes ago and got this because I wasn't prepared with the stones. But Victoria Beckham's is like a thin chain, and then it's like a Y necklace, and it has a long, a very long uh, like row of natural stones hanging down here. It's really cool. I like it. But uh, so natural stone like pendants will be something to to be looking for anything with natural stones. And these are like, I guess those sunstones or gold stone or whatever. I think I found it. Let me see if this is it. You tell me if this is it. Let me see if I can screen share this. Oh boy. Is that it? Um, that's probably it. That's not the picture that I ha that I was looking at before, but that's probably the necklace. Yeah. Um, that's, that's an ugly dress. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm I love the color. And uh, you know what? It looks like that necklace would be really heavy. Those look like big stones. I don't know. Uh, depends on how thick they are, I guess, or, yeah. you know, the material itself. Um, Yeah, I think that was on the Harper's Bazaar. Wow, what what rings are they? Whoa, that's <laughs> some, that's some rings. Uh, I think it might have been on the Harper's Bazaar um, website. I'm not sure. It was trend forecast: fifteen standout jewelry pieces for fall and winter. Um, oh, here it is. Do you remember what number it was? What number? Oh, no, no, I don't. Yep, yeah, that might be it there. Yeah, this, no, that wasn't it. Oh, it was Vogue. Was it must, Vogue? It must have been Vogue. It's okay. It's okay, we can go without it. You get the idea. Okay. okay. Let's see if I can get back. Uh-oh, what happened? Let's see. Uh, here we go. Are we back? I think so. Let me see. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, there we go. Forgot toggle on and off of the presenting square thing. Okay. Um, let me see. Where are we on our list? Talked about the natural stones. Now we got the heart charm necklace. Got that. Oh, do you remember, may or may not, anybody who watches my videos may or may not remember that big thing that I thought I couldn't figure it out and I thought it's really ugly and I kind of threw it over my shoulder and said, I don't like it. And I kind of just threw it there on the floor. <laughs> what it was was a an ear cuff and it had like natural looking stones going up the ear. And, and I should have kept it. I think I, in fact, I don't know. Did you, keep know. It? you might have it now, Tonya. Oh no. <laughs> you, you might have it in that big box of stuff I sent you. I've got to do an unboxing. It's still sitting in the corner. Oh my goodness. I'm hey, it's not that I sent you everything that I didn't like. That's not the case. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm just saying, I don't know where that is. And I don't think I threw it away because I can't stand to throw jewelry really away. Right. So I think I put it in a box of some sort. And it might have ended what up. What color is it? Is it silver or what does it look no, like? It's like um, it's like uh, neutral colors of of different stones, and they're about this big around. And but the stones are like acrylic or plastic. The stones okay. are about the as big as my fingernail, my little fingernail, okay. and they go up. They go the whole way up your ear, and okay. then then it had two fasteners on it. It had a clip on fastener and it had a pierced ear fastener. And I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, what two kinds of different earring fasteners on this long crescent looking thing. And it was like, I could not, I just couldn't. And then somebody in the chat did end up telling me what it was, but I'm like, no, think. 
<laughs> yeah, I got off that list. It says uh, Roberto Cavalli's Serpent Ear Cuff. So um, I guess the ear cuffs are really going to be in style. Yeah. I would imagine yeah. that would be for the younger people, though. I just can't see older people. But you never know. I mean, I'm not going to be, you know, since our age here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't think since I couldn't even figure out what it was that I'd be wearing it. <laughs> but, right. but um I did rock the the two different kind of earrings, but that's only for that's only for right now for today because like if I if I wore this to church, people would be like, Is Angie okay? Is she <laughs> what <laughs> they'd be like, Angie, do you know, dear, do you know you have two ear different earrings on? Um, I, I know you might you get confused sometimes, but <laughs> this one here's a hoop and this one here is like a post earring. Right. Remember to fix it when the show's over so that, you know, you don't go to the grocery store or something with it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got uh, asymmetrical and mismatched earrings. Okay. Here is the perfect time for you guys to sell your lots of single earrings. Oh, right. Yes, definitely. Because they are, you know, they're they're going for these mismatched. They don't have to be the long and the short either. I think they they're showing ones that are just different, you know, and they're big. A lot of times the pictures that I've seen, they're big earrings. Like, you know, one's like a big round one, maybe, and one's a big like rectangular ish one, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, so the single earring lots would be a good uh, thing to list right now. I agree. So, layered, hold on, let's see. One page back here. Okay, one, one page left, and then we'll probably wrap it up. Um, yeah, and let us know if you guys have any questions we can answer too. Yes, yes, I haven't been looking at the chat, so I'm sorry if I have missed anything. Bianca says, Hi, Angie and Tanya. I'm so happy to catch you live. I'm so stressed and I need urgent, urgently to relax and enjoy. Oh, hugs. Oh, Bianca, hugs. yes. Hi. Bianca. <laughs> we love you, Bianca. Just get a cup of tea. That's what I was just thinking. Get a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Get a cup of tea and just take a deep breath, let it out, and sit here with us. Yes. And we hope you... We hope you feel calm. Um, and my friend Peachy Tay's here. She has not been here. I have not seen her in a good while, and I missed her because she is the one that I will never forget. You know what she said, Tanya? What'd she say? She said, giving one of my videos a thumbs down would be like kicking a puppy. Oh, <laughs> I love her name. Isn't that dear? Peachy Tay. <laughs> I do. Know. I love her name too. I love her for saying that. I love her. Um. So watch me get watch me get double the the thumbs down on this. Video. Oh no! <laughs> it's okay though. You know what? It's okay. It's all good. So She's I think. Like, oh my gosh! I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hugs, Bianca. I hope you're hope you're good. She says, oh, MG, I love you. I love you, too. Ooh. And you better come more often to my videos because I missed you. Right. Really? And we have, we have some news. Uh, so we are going to start rotating the Jewelry Detective Show. So the next, right, Angie? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the next Jewelry Detective Show is going to be on Angie's channel. Um, and we're still looking for uh, guests. So if you guys want to be a guest, uh, message one of us and, and let us know and we'll get you on a show. Yeah, that means I'll be nervous. <laughs> um, so I think what we can take away from the, the trends coming up are unique earrings, Definitely. whether they be mismatched or asymmetrical right. and big. Go big or go home. Right. 80s revival yes oversized chains glamorous yeah layered chains uh big funky things like you showed that big statement necklace funky 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 <laughs> uh elements of nature like the leaves yeah 
feathers too. Did we mention feathers? No, but feathers is a good one. And uh, like you said, the natural stones. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reuse of everyday objects. Like I don't, I don't know that you know that's going to be a big one for me. In fact, I know it won't. But for some, it might. You know. Yeah, that that uh, that sparks uh, my interest. Like thinking of what I could use. For everyday objects that could become earrings or bracelets or something. Right. Did you see the pictures? They had like name tag jewelry and they oh. had. Uh, what website was that one from? Because I wrote down all 15 of the website you sent me. I must have missed it. Yeah. Um, I will look again, but they had different examples of, uh, you know, different kinds of things you could use for your jewelry, like keychain looking things and web and, uh, name tag looking jewelry so it's so, like, it's like repurposing something uh, yeah. yes that's that's always uh i feel like that's always uh what's the word something that you know the younger people you know do like you know to lessen your what's it called your your footprint on the earth what do they call oh, that okay yeah you know, yeah i do know what you mean yeah <laughs> um there's a word that goes in front of footprint, but I don't know what it is. I yeah. can't, but right. I, know, I know exactly what you mean. Um, then the other thing uh, was uh, orbiting stones, floating earrings. I didn't mention that. Uh, and uh, metal statement necklaces, um, coins were something. So um, carbon footprint, Carol says. That's it. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. So I think that's probably going to be about it. Yeah. Um, Forever Luzon says, any ideas on repurposing cufflinks? Hmm. I think cufflinks could probably fit on anything. They might fit on a lamp post or. Um, you mean a lampshade? Uh, well, no, like the bar, you know, because oh, if it can wrap around the, the bar that holds the shade up, right? The base, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the base. That's the word. <laughs> I just can't think of the words today. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. And then Swan says, uh, Glenn says, bike chains make good bracelets. When I was younger, I had um, a boyfriend, and he worked at Sun Ski and Sports. Um, and they sell a bunch of bikes. And anyway, he would make me bracelets. I still have some. I'll have to um, post them in the jewelry group. Definitely. But he would make me uh, bracelets out of, like, little bike chain parts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that would be something that uh, – would would apply to that every day um every yeah, day thing. definitely yep yeah. yeah. and uh so if this uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh subscribe to uh thrifty treasures and treasured vintage and <laughs> if you like it too we if if you think you'd like to see like us i mean this is looking way out but we thought we'd do like you know spring summer 2019 too so we'll do it like every six months we'll we'll do the trend show so that'll be fun for us to do in addition to our jewelry detective show definitely together but so all right i think that's going to be it for us and uh, unless you have any questions or anything like that so we'll we'll look in the chat real quick and see if there's anything in there and then we'll We'll say goodbye for today, for me anyway. Maybe Tanya will be back today. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Chris says, I just love you two ladies. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. And we might have Chris on a show maybe in the fall. Uh, I hope so. Um, Bianca says I want us to leave. <laughs> Huh? Bianca says, oh, no, don't leave. <laughs> oh, she says, don't leave. Oh, Bianca. Hugs. I'm sure Steve and Steph or somebody will be one you can go and, and uh, visit people. Because I know, I know people um, rely on shows even just to do that, you know, to visit with the other people in the chat. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's just a way for all of us to connect, and it's really neat. So. Yeah. Let's uh, plug Dwayne's show, too. Uh, Yes. Glenn brought it up. So the MSP auction show is coming on tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I should know who the guest is. Uh, I am drawing a blank. <laughs> I am too. 
for me, and I'm not sure if I knew or not who was on. Um, I can't recall his name right now, but I know he's got a ton of great stuff, and he's got a ton of jewelry, you guys. So, go really? Ahead. Oh, yes, he does. And good jewelry, too. I looked at his pictures. So, be sure and join the MSP auction page on, um, or group, rather, on Facebook. And he has posted everything he's going to be selling tonight, and a ton of it is jewelry. He's got a ton of pictures of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, okay. you're going to want to go check that out for sure. <laughs> now I just wish I would have stuck some more money in my PayPal. I, I did put some in there, but I might not have put enough. <laughs> yeah, and then Debbie says that she has a 100 sub giveaway too. Oh, Debbie, great. Great. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, Carol. It's going to be the nine pound hammer on tonight, you guys. Oh, okay. I remember him. Yeah. Um, Oh, before I go, you guys, I I didn't make this public or anything, but I'm monetized now. Whoop! <laughs> so I got I got monetized. It's been a while now. I don't know if it's been a month yet or not, but a while back I got monetized. So, um, yeah, kind of excited about that. It's something new, so we'll yeah. see how that goes. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. yeah. All right, everybody. You, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you learned something. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye, bye. everybody. Say bye, Tanya. Bye.